Joining us this morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, Chef Carlos Demore is here. Fred and Steve Steakhouse is the place, and we've got Asian Thai Chilean sea bass with baby bok choy. How are you? Pretty good, and yourself? Every time you come in, you do it big, uh, like they always do at Fred and Steve's Steakhouse. A lot of great food, something easy that folks are able to put together, no problem. That's right. This, this is, is one of the items. This is the time of year you want to make stuff like this. That's right. This is one of the items we're going to be featuring on our Father's Day's menu coming up very soon, less than, less than two weeks. Okay. So if you have the pleasure, come to Fred and Steve's Steakhouse. I'd be more than happy to prepare this for you. All well, right. For fill today, Dad's belly right up. What do we need? Absolutely. All right. For this show today, we're going to be preparing Chilean sea bass like you mentioned. Uh, this is fresh Chilean sea bass. We got some sea scallops. We got some clams. Uh, we're also going to prepare for the Thai sauce. I'm going to be using some cherry juice. I'm going to fresh squeeze orange juice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use some vinegar, um, soy sauce. I prefer to use the low sodium soy sauce. That way it's not too salty. Right. It's black and uh, salt and pepper, a little, uh, little brown sugar. And also, we're going to prepare the rice, which will be with the saffron. It's a really, really nice, tasty rice. We're going to be using some extra virgin olive oil, uh, white wine. Also going to be using some pineapple juice. We're also going to be using baby bok choy, which is excellent, excellent. I uh, like bok choy. Stuff to go with that one. <laughs> So uh, come to Fred and Steve's. I'll be more than happy to right. be made that excellent, excellent dinner for you. Chef for Carlos is ready to uh, cook up a storm here this morning. We'll talk about Fred and Steve's Steakhouse as we always do. Show you what the finished product looks like and cook away. Back to you. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen with Chef Carlos Demar from Fred and Steve's Steakhouse over at Twin River. You said it's been an exciting time. And absolutely. You guys have the hotel very, coming absolutely. Up. We got two hotels coming up on board. We got a Tiffany Casino coming up on board. So it's a very, very exciting time to be mm -hmm. at the Twin River. And, um, and also today I'm here to cook that, uh, that really, really nice uh, Chilean sea bass. Mm -hmm. That was going to be one of the items going to be featured on our uh, Fighters Day menu. Perfect. Which yes. is coming up in less than two weeks. And a great spot. Your turn for around is already Day. there. This sauce is one of the easiest sauces you ever prepare in your life. And I'm going to show you everybody today <laughs> how to sold. do it. <laughs> and uh, everybody likes easy steps, how to mm. achieve a goal. So, first thing you're going to do, I got some pineapple juice. And you got to make sure your pan is nice and hot. Okay. You let it, let it boil for a little bit. Then you're going to add a little brown sugar. But this is optional. If you don't want to, if you don't add brown sugar, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But it can caramelize much better if you add the brown yeah. sugar. It also gives a nice glazy flavor. Wow. Then and you, once that pineapple juice hits the pan, it smells awesome in absolutely. here. Absolutely. So, so it's already in. Next thing, I'm going to add some cherry juice right here. Bring it to a boil. Also, you have to have your favorite medium flame, medium high. And next item you're going to add is a fresh squeezed orange juice. The Are you making a about, cocktail or a sauce? <laughs> <laughs> it's both. Trust me. Uh, one of the things you want to, when you prepare your meal, the first thing you want to do, you want to make sure you use all fresh, uh, fresh items because yeah. you want to be using stuff out of the cans, all nice fresh items. Mm -hmm. That way it gives you, gives you, gives you food a, like a nice, nice, nice flavor. Then you're going to add a little white vinegar. It gives a nice acidity to the contrast with the fish. Yeah, it gives a nice, nice balance. Then the next step, get a little soy sauce. The soy sauce, I like to use the, the low sodium mm -hmm. because you know because you already know it's already salty. Right. So you don't you want to balance it out with the low sodium. Same thing like you said of using things in jars. You don't know how much sugar's in there or how yeah, much salt. You should how be much in salt? And you don't even know how long it is they've been there. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna add some uh, orange zest. Then you just let it reduce until you get that nice, nice glaze. Yeah, that thick consistency Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Yeah, one thing about a steakhouse, a lot of people think it's a steakhouse, so that's all we sell. Yeah. No, wrong. We sell the top, top, finest ingredients, seafoods in the market. Mm -hmm. So we also got a salmon, you got a swordfish, you name it, we have it. Yeah. So just because of the steakhouse and you're a seafood lover, Come and see us because we'll be more than happy. The chances are we got something for you, no matter which 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 are your flavors. Yeah. So we're gonna let that reduce down a Can little bit, and they never skimp on portion sizes, guys. We'll show you how the whole plate comes together, and we'll talk more about Father's Day too when we come back. What are you doing Father's Day? How about take them to Fred and Steve's Steakhouse for some Asian mm -hmm. Thai Chilean sea bass with baby bok choy. This guy yeah. can make it for you. That's right. I'd be more than happy to prepare that yes, for you. Can. All right. For this segment, we're going to be preparing. First thing you're going to do, some salt. Mm -hmm. Add some pepper to your Chilean sea bass. Same thing to your scallops. Then there in this go. pan, we're going to add some um, olive, extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. Get it going. Ooh, the same thing in this one. one. There. Got that thing going. Then we're going to have your bok choy. And do I flip it Yes, down? flip it that side, okay. right? Just same thing on this side. A little salt and pepper salt on the other side. So you got it on both sides. Yep. 
Make sure your pan is nice and hot. Some people for this for this step, they use flour too. But I prefer not to use flour because I don't want to take away from this beautiful, beautiful fish. Yeah. It has a nice, nice, nice flavor. So you don't want to take it away. Okay. Oh, what do you need? I'll coat it with a little flour on it. Yeah, some people do that. All right. All right. In the same pan, I'm going to use my, uh, add my scallop. And you want to sear it until you get a nice golden brown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This pan, get a little chopped garlic. Oh, I love garlic. Everybody loves garlic. Is it nice? If you like a lot of garlic, you put a lot more. Then that pan, you're gonna add your clams. And clams are great. They'll just open up when it's, they're it's, done. Yes, it's a nice, nice combination. Nice and easy. Oh, so you don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't even have to put any liquid in that. Or well, it's gonna wait first because you want to get your bok choy, that nice right. golden brown seed. Right. That's that's what you're get looking a nice for. Nice color. Yeah, get a nice color. That's good. And the next step. You're gonna add some white wine. You just gotta be careful so you don't yeah. get a nice flame going. Well, sometimes you do, Jeff, and <laughs> yes, <like> yes. that. <laughs> That's why you always gotta find single strands to go when I come to the show. There you have some uh, clam stock. The only thing, another thing about bok choy, you gotta make sure it's nice and clean because some sometimes they come in really, really sandy. Mm -hmm. So you gotta make sure you get the uh, clean those get out. Nice and about. clean. Yep. Uh, your scallops. Then you can see, start getting it a nice golden brown. One side, then you flip it over. Now, Chef, for those who have never had Chilean sea bass, is this like a meatier fish? I know sometimes it's, we have like a swordfish or It's a, it's a nice, a mild, flaky fish. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, okay. a, it's, a, it's a family of codfish. The reason why they call it Chilean, it, before this, it was called toothfish. But some some fishermen come out with a good idea, say, you know what, this thing is not moving. It's a great, great product, and it's not moving. So they come out, you know what, let's change it to chill and sea bass. Since you changed it to chill and sea bass, <laughs> boom. Like it's all in the name. name. It's all in the name. name. All in the name. And, uh, and uh, at the Freddy Steve, we we'll pick nothing but the best. Mm -hmm. So this is, like I said, one, another item we're also going to be featured on Father's Day's menu will be a Kansas City dry age, bone in sirloin. That sounds oh, good. It's, it's a real, real, really yeah. nice item. So we got a bacon blitz, you name it, we have it. So we're going to have a really, really, really nice time. So that's mm -hmm. why I invite all the fathers, all the mothers, everybody. Yeah. Come into Fred and Steve's anyway. We're going to be more than, more than happy to put it together. A beautiful, beautiful, wonderful meal. You're going to be with Mama for do, a long, long, long time. Do they need time. to, uh, for Father's Day, should they make reservations yes, to come in? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Call, call, uh, call to the river, uh, Fred and Steve's, and you make your reservations because it's always good. You get the time and you, and be no problem. So right. come and see me. Mm -hmm. See so you get the nice and golden brown. And this item is going to be finished in the oven. Well, yeah, it's very thick. Yeah, it's very thick and, and it's very rich too. Mm -hmm. So that's why this fish is really, really, really top of the line fish. Uh -huh. So this one. Beautiful. And this this is ready to go. Add a little more salt and pepper to this one. You're just going to wait for the clams to open. Okay. And uh, you can see some of them are slowly starting to. Yes. The bok choy is ready. So you put them aside and you wait for the for the clams to open. So the bok choy is something, you still want a little bit of that bite to it. Yes. You yes. don't want to You don't want to kill cook it. No, absolutely not. Okay. And you can see the clams are already starting to open. Mm, that garlic. Yeah, this one, the nice, nice, good. look at this, look at this, this color. That's what you're looking for. The there nice, is. the Perfect. nice, golden You know what color. you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> I've been trying. <laughs> you know what you're doing. How long have you been over at Fred and Steve's, Jeff? Since we opened. Since day one, I've been, I've been wow. and it's wow. been a pleasure. And like like I mentioned before, it's a great time to be at Toronto River because we got a lot of excitement, a lot of, got hotels coming on board, mm -hmm. we got a new casinos coming on board, so this, is, this is a great time, great yeah. time, busy place. All right, and this one. So that's the finished product. That's right, the so finished you know product. I get, wow. Oh, the only thing, we got to get the, the, the nice Thai in the sauce, uh, the Asian Thai in the sauce, we'll give the nice way, the contrast. Right over here. And we can see if after time that really came it's together. Nice, and nice, nice up. place. Wow. That looks beautiful. Not you going can enjoy hungry. that for Father's yes. Day. Or enjoy it at home when you make it yourself. You know where to go for the recipe, roadshow.com.